We're back. I'm with Cameraman Craig today. G'day. He's giving me a hand. And we're talking Toyota Hilux. So if you're a Toyota Hilux owner, then this is all for you. We're doing we've our got current some liner. Great options here. We do. Some great upgrades for your Toyota Hilux. Now, we've actually got the 2.8 six speed Hilux with us. That's the lovely road one, I think it is, isn't it? It is. This is actually our company car, the one we did all the development on. So all the products that you see on the table here are actually in this vehicle. So they've been well and truly tested. And um, so we've got four major items. If you've got the previous model, like the five speed auto and the earlier four speed, the options changed a little bit, but not a hell of a lot. Like it's really, Mostly really close same. for the most yeah. part. The coolers may change a little bit, the valve bodies change a little bit, but the product base is actually exactly the same. Yep. So how about we kick things off? With probably out of all of these, the one that we're probably best known for is the Nomad valve body. Now, Absolutely. this is what we call an AC60 valve body. And it's actually, this is the same valve body that we design and build. It's a Nomad valve body that we build for the 2.8 Hilux. We also build it for the 2.8 um, Prado 150, uh, the Fortuna. It's in the current D-Max. Yep. It's actually in the current Mazda BT50, the three litre Mazda BT50. And I'm sure it's another mode. I'm sure, pretty sure it's in the Tacoma in America as well. And I believe one of the um, little Suzuki Sierras has it as well. So there's yep. plenty of it around. So this is a heavy duty Nomad valve body. It's built as a complete kit. So basically it comes with all the new yep. pan gaskets, gaskets, the oil filter, filter any of the O-rings and that that you need for the oil filter or that go between the valve body and the uh, transmission when you're bolting it up in the air and that. Yep. So the heavy duty Nomad valve body obviously is for towing, touring, whether you're putting lots of weight on it, whether it be bull bar, winches, off-road tyres, bigger suspension, yep. roof rack, all these things add to the load that the vehicle was not expecting. Never alone if you turn around and do chips, tunes, bigger exhaust, the whole lot. And it's really the, the heavy duty upgrade for the transmission if you do anything that is non-standard. Oh look, if you do any of those things, you should be putting a Nomad valve body. Absolutely. But in Australia, we're doing, you know, basically multiple of them. Most people are putting lift kits, off-road tires, bull yep. bars, winches, yep. lights. Yep. There's a whole multitude of things. This valve body covers for all of them. Yep. It's actually well received. It's actually one of our most favorite products that we sell for the Hilux. And don't forget, we've even got a video showing people how to install this valve body. We do, we have fitting instructions for each of these. Yep. And this is no exception, but online, if you go to a website, you'll go up and you'll actually see... So page? go to our website, yeah, askauto.com.au, yeah. and if you go into the support section, the support section, and have a look under uh, each well, of the products under yeah. support, if you're you'll after find Nomad the Valve body, you'll go to it. Nomad Valve body, yep. and in there it separates, you can look at the, the fitting instructions, Yep. and there's, oh, not all, but we're getting there, we're gradually getting there, there's awful, an awful lot of uh, video, how to guide installs, yep. which helps yep. you pull them out and put it in top up the oils. We get a lot of people just go there. They're just doing a regular service at home and they just want to know how to check the service and how to do that. It's pretty well the same instructions for fitting the Nomad valve body will actually tell you how to um, service your own vehicle and all that as well. Right. It's almost exactly the same. So that's the first item. Probably our, one of our biggest ones that we do Probably for it. Probably one of the biggest, yeah. We move on to the second one. Now yep. the second one is the piece de resistance. <laughs> a lot of people have been waiting for this and currently we only had it for the 200 series, and this is the new Nomad lockup module and kit yep. um, that we now have available for the Hilux, for the six-speed Hilux. This is an amazing bit of kit. So this is the lockup controller of the future. And it I certainly guess is. What sets this kit apart from anything else? is that this actually taps into the CAN bus in the vehicle it does. to get all of the information that it needs and, and yeah. make its decisions on when to engage automatic lockup. Yeah. So you don't need to press the button, it'll do it all for you once you program it. It's, and yeah, a it's very a, It's an incredibly smart kit, kit because just yeah. from the, the CAN bus, it'll turn around, it'll get a throttle, how much throttle. And actually more to the point, it actually gets a torque curve yep. from it. It gets a yep. brake pedal, it'll actually get when you're braking really hard, it knows. 
also knows what gear you're in and everything like that. Yep. Um, obviously via an app on your phone, you can turn around and adjust. So it's got Bluetooth. Um, so it actually got Bluetooth Wi-Fi to your, um, your phone. So you, you need the app on the phone. phone. Yep. And you can actually change the parameters when you want them to come in and out, whether you want it to disengage when you put your foot on the brake or not. It has five presets in it. And each one of those five, either, they come preset by us, but any of those five, you can actually turn around and yeah. make your own or personal ones. With you your can settings. set your own, absolutely. Yep. So it doesn't yeah. matter whether you're in high range, low yep. range. You might have one for when you're towing, when you're not towing, one for beach work. There's, there's yep. five. There's plenty yep. of them there. Yep. And this is brilliant. And even, it even knows all the flex lock within the vehicle. And the best part about it, you do not need a flash tune. No. for the engine to turn around and no. fit one of these you do not need to turn your what the dtc codes off no this no. actually is that intelligent that it knows how to run it the way that it's supposed to be but is also smart enough to be able to run it the way that we want it without upsetting the rest of the vehicle it's That's all built right. so it's quite a That's comprehensive right. harness that all comes with it all the yep. can bus loons and everything like yep. that yep. and look if something goes wrong and we've got a plan for the worst. If something goes wrong and we're unsure, it's even got a plug. You just unplug it, plug the next one, and it just turns it off. Yep. So, yep. I mean, but we send before it you the get whole to that lot. stage, you give us a call. You might even end up speaking to myself. Yes. And um, in most cases, we can get you to send us via email the information from your controller. Yep. And we can see how it's configured and we can make some recommendations. Nine times out of ten, we can fix it over the phone. And that's, that's the best part of actually having a Bluetooth and an app on your phone is the yep. fact is that it allows us to see what your module is doing and to see how you've set your module up yep. remotely. doesn't matter where you are in Australia. As long as you've got a phone and you're sitting in that seat in the car and you can turn ignition on, we yep. can actually help you from all over yep. Australia. It's the only kit in the world that comes close yep. to doing all of that. And I love that. We are bringing it out for all makes and models. And because this one's got the AC60, which means we're not that far off for now to get it for the, the Fortuna, the D-Max, yep. the BT50, the, you know, like all the ones I mentioned before, uh, Prado 150, we're not that far off and we're working for other models on that too, even the analog ones that we're Absolutely. doing. Absolutely. Even Craig's Absolutely. got one in his, and this, is a, this has actually got one fitted. So it's not to say, well, oh, it's coming yeah. soon. No, well, we've actually got it fitted. We've actually been we're testing just, it in this We've just lot. finished actually filming the installation for this. So yep. this is the car that you will see when you in go to fit a model. In the install video. In yep. the install video. We do have a few friends, um, customers of ours that did volunteer yep. and they've got them in the car. So they've been testing them heavily. But we needed to test it very, very thoroughly. Debug. Yeah, oh yeah. Um, but we never had yep. a failure. All yep. we had to do was like, oh, bit of a tweak here, bit of a tweak yep. there. But the good yep. thing about it, we can continue doing tweaks. Because yep. you've got an app Software and you've got Bluetooth, we can just make little changes for you. Yep. It doesn't yep. have to come out. You don't have to send it back, nothing. That's what no. makes this kit the absolute, the future. It really Ducks is the guts. future of lockup kits. Yep. yep. All right. Let's That's move great. on to the big one sitting over here. The oil cooler. cooler. Now, we're known, obviously, for oil coolers for a long, long time. And this is the oil cooler for the 2.8 six-speed, right? We do have them for the earlier five speed and four speed. Yep. Obviously, the coolers are pretty well the same on a whole lot. Yep. It's just that the one piece mount that you see on the back of it is changes. So it's actually, all these mounts are made, they're vehicle specific, yep. which means we know that when you order one offline, it will fit your vehicle. It comes with all the bolts, it comes with all the, you know, the fitting hardware, yep. it comes yep. with um, all the clamps and everything. Some of the kits are different from others, like the Ford Ranger has all sorts of cooler unions and everything there. This one's actually a cheaper kit because it's an easier kit, it's a simpler yep. kit, but still runs the same coolers that we run on all the other models. And right? once again, frame. we've got a really detailed document that will tell you how to install this into your car. So it is, it's is something that anyone who's a little bit handy should be able to fit this themselves. Um, also, we have the video, of course, again, once more on how yeah, to, on how to, to install. This. We're actually trying to do the how-to guide install yep. on all the, all, all the products for all the makes and models. Yep. We've but actually got many help, of them out we, there. We can also help you fit yeah. it as well, of yeah. course. Oh, if you have any problems, just give, it, give the tech team a call and then they'll quickly do it. Now, these mounts, what sets these mounts aside while we're here is that they're actually dual-coated. 
All right. We steer away from stainless steel mounts because you should never put stainless steel mounts um, yep. in a vehicle. Um, look it up. All right. You shouldn't have three. It's called a tri-metal yeah. problem. You shouldn't have aluminium, steel, and stainless steel together because it creates corrosion in the aluminium. All right. So you could, the car is already steel. The cool is aluminium. So I've got to have one or the other. Right. So we've gone for the, the mild steel for this, but we zinc coated it. So all of them are actually sent out and zinc coated. And then once they're zinc coated, we then turn out and manix coat them, which is this black. And it is a tough, no fingerprints. Oh, yeah. It's a really rugged lining that's yeah. actually on it. And they look great. Oh, they do. Beach they do. work, salt work, everything. Doesn't yep. matter. You're never going to get that sucker to corrode. Not in a million uh, years, absolutely. I tell you right now. Now, yeah. obviously, when you, if you order these online, You'll notice that it's a question there and ask if you want a, a litre or two. Um, some of our dual coolers that ask you, do you want, it basically asks you if you want oil to go yep. with your cooler kit. Yep. And if you say yes, when the boys actually pack your, your cooler kit here, they actually slot a litre yep. or two in, depending on which yep. one you know, normally comes with that particular kit. This one just needs one litre. And that yep. allows you to top up when you've actually got your, your cooler fitted. We also do have uh, the five litres, which yep. is down here. I've got the five litre one here. Yep. And we have a big 20 litre one, which I'm not lifting up here. So if you're doing a full flush uh, valve body <coughs> install, or even if you're just doing yep. a full flush uh, yep. synthetic service, you can actually turn around and actually just order the oil off of us and that. And we actually yep. do ship the oil all over Australia. And of course, all our auto fluid makes yep. the Toyota world standard. Oh, so or, or exceeds it well and truly. In most cases we go, that next step above yeah. because it's just yeah. easier. It, you know? it is the right oil for your tank. It is. Last yeah. item is the temp gauge kit. I love the temp gauge kits. People say, oh, it's a temp gauge kit. It tells you what temperature it does. No, it doesn't. What it does is that it teaches you what the car doesn't and doesn't like. That's right. It's, you actually see the needle. You were very quickly over a period of time by watching the temp gauge kit know what she does and doesn't like. Yep. You'll be able to, after a while, you'll be able to get used to go. Oh, I can pre. I reckon she's going to get this hot going up this hill, towing this vehicle on this hot day, and you'll actually become a master of it to the point that when something's not right, you'll see it and you'll pick it straight away. Absolutely. And you're, what people don't realise about the temperature of a transmission is that it doesn't just get up to a, a certain temperature and stay there. No. As you're travelling up, say a steep hill or something like that, the torque converter's taking up the slip, and it's generating heat. So you will actually see the temperature will come up and then it'll come back down again. They move around quite a lot. They like do you can, move around This thing quite can go from 60 to 90 yeah. degrees in less than three minutes. Yeah. Like it's not like an engine that takes a long time. These things move around a lot. And when your lockup comes in, yeah. equally, oh. you'll notice the temperature just suddenly just drop, drop off. Absolutely. Right? How's but down? also these, these are an analog kit. They um, are. So that you can see that needle move. So you're not just yeah. looking at a digital display that's constantly changing numbers. Yeah but you can actually see that, that needle moving and, and, and know where it's at. And once again, they come with a cooler union yep. that is specific for the vehicle. So instead of you having to drill and tap and try and put the sender unit in, no. we actually give you yep. a replacement cooling union. So all you're doing is just unbolting your cooler line, yep. taking the cooling union out, slipping the new one in, and it's already got the new sender unit, which is a dual wire unit, yep. which means we send the earth down to there. It's a very, very accurate system. Yep. And it's all done for you. So the whole lot, always brand new cooling unions and... And our sender units are designed so that they fit into these unions and don't restrict the flow. They are. So we actually use what we call short nose senders. A lot of other manufacturers with temp gauges, they build the gauge, but they never actually ever intended them to be for automatic transmissions. And yep. they put these stonking great long noses on them. And it's like, how do you fit them? You can't install them like this. The great thing about this kit, this kit was designed Yep. to fit directly into yep. all the cooling unions and that. And the whole thing comes with its own harness. It's all pre-done. It's all pre-fitted, a mount, and you can put the mount up on the dash. You can put it down on the center console, underneath yep. the dash. The yep. whole thing moves, <coughs> it tilts. Um, so it doesn't matter what angle you want to look at it from or have it up on the dash the other way. The whole thing's just built to suit you. Yep. You can even pull them out of the cup. Well, we, we sell them without the, yeah, without the cups and actually as well. Mount them so if you want to mount it in pillopods. your own pillow pod. Yeah. yeah. So if you mount them in a pillow pod and all that, that's yep. all there for you as well. Yep. So, um, and of course, once again, comes with instructions on how to It how does. To it comes it. with a great set of instructions. And I was yep. going to have a chat to you about instructions because some of these have got really cool instructions. You open them. So our CompuShift, our lockup kit, our valve bodies, our 
Well, our coolers are a little bit different as they come in dual setup. And also the temp gauge comes in such a way that they've got QR codes on them. So you can just look it up on the website and you'll be able to see that, oh, queue it up. And there's all the instructions right in front of you. So by the time you get the instructions, you, you still do it. So tell us, this is what I want to know. I have a question for you. Do you prefer to use a QR code that simply allows you to go online yep. and look at all the information, all the fitting instructions and that online? Or do you prefer a paperback version? Yeah. I'd like to know, because yeah. we're still arguing here over the best way to send you know, instructions out. Do you I'm like one QR that's code. just page by page? In actual fact, the same instructions that are in the paperback is exactly what's on the QR code. That's They're right. not any different. They're identical to each other. <laughs> so I want to know if you're into QR codes and, you know, or would you prefer just a paperback? Yeah, and that'll be interesting. I'll so, be of course, that's the Hilux range, but if you want to know any of the products that we have for any of our vehicles, just simply go to the website, askauto.com.au. Yep. At the top of the website, you'll see a little form. Just enter your make, your model, and, and the engine they're or transmission little, that you have. It's just little pop-ups. It'll drop so down it comes boxes. Up. Yeah, yep. you just put your make, model, yep. and that in there, and engine, and, and then... there you can see all of the products that we have that'll suit your vehicle. You can purchase there's a lot them of vehicles. There's a lot of vehicles in there. Yep, yep. Buy them online yep. any time of day. And, uh, and we'll ship them out to you. Or, of course, just give our sales guys a call. We've got 50 uh, dealers all over Australia that can help you with installation. So if you can't come here and if you're not confident or yep. handy with the tools at home, yep. always remember that we've got specialists all over Australia or even your local mechanic. These are fairly easy and the instructions are so detailed you'll be able to do that. And even if you're overseas, and if you order overseas, by the time you get into the cart, all of our local taxes and GSTs are all removed, so therefore you're getting a fair deal. Yep. And even on the freight, it even tells you how much to freight to your door. So yep. jump on. Check Please, it out. In the, com look. in the comments below, let us know what you think. Yep. All right. What make model have you got? Because I'm sure we're going to be doing more of these episodes. Jump in the comments and please like, subscribe. Don't forget to get the bell on. And we'll catch you in the next episode. See you guys. See ya.